I'm Ian Thompson. I work for the RSPB investigations team in Scotland. This national survey is going to be fascinating in many ways. The hen harrier is a bird that has not done well in the last 20 years throughout the UK. The last two surveys have showed a substantial decline in the number of breeding pairs in the UK. And certainly in the east to south of Scotland, where I work particularly closely, on the grouse moors we saw something like a 57% decline in our number of pairs of hen harriers. Obviously, there have been a number of political developments, particularly in Scotland, over the last few years, and we now see the Scottish Parliament considering legislation that will lead to, hopefully, the licensing of driven grouse shooting, where the right to shoot will be dependent on legal and sustainable management of the land. And this provision, these provisions have come into place primarily to deal with raptor persecution. The Scottish Government has taken steps over the last really 20 years since devolution to try and bear down on those who are killing birds of prey. Uh, and while it has had some effect, particularly with regard to illegal poisoning, unfortunately birds like hen harriers still tend to disappear very quickly should they linger in areas where driven grouse shooting dominates the landscape. We hope having regulation of the shooting industry will finally be a deterrent to these crimes. The reason this survey is so important is that the hen harrier is a real keystone species, a really important measure of how healthy our upland environment is. Much of our country is missing hen harriers. There should be hundreds of pairs of hen harriers in the east and south of Scotland, for example. There should be a lot more in England. And one of the reasons that these birds are missing, or the key driver of these birds' absence, is persecution. And we see year after year, hen harriers that have been fitted with satellite tags are either found dead and having proven them have been illegally killed, or they simply disappear under suspicious circumstances. If persecution is declining, as the grouse shooting industry likes to keep telling us, then one would think that this hen harrier survey will show quite a marked rise in the population, not just in some areas, but nationally. So time will tell.